Euro FX futures stumbled overnight, uh, touching a one month low, uh, attempting to stabilize, rallying back a little bit, now trading just around the flat line to close here. Um, overnight, um, ECB uh, minutes from December 9th came out. I'm a little bit surprising that all members in agreement that uh, additional policy measures should be taken if necessary. Pretty dovish and really dragged down the euro. Um, combined with the fact that Prime Minister of Italy Conte lost some of his cabinet members, also losing majority in Parliament. Um, that said, we saw boon yields touch a one one week low, negative 56. All these things that drag anchor um, on the overnight early morning session. Um, futures also responding, at least today, to um, overnight headlines about uh, or reports of a stimulus 3.0 being proposed of $2 trillion and not the $1 trillion that people are getting used to. That definitely supported risk ass assets ever so slightly, although traders are wondering in the euro if that's already baked in um, and nothing has been said so far. It's just really just reports. On the U.S. side, uh, mixed data really didn't have a whole lot of influence one way or the other. Um, although claims hit a four and a half month high, reaching almost one million, that was offset a little bit by um, import prices, which uh, increased ex petroleum uh, by plus 0.4, as opposed to just about flat consensus. Also, uh, another thing that's continuing to uh, isolate uh, the late day move here, uh, four Fed speakers, including Powell giving a webinar at Princeton University, Rosegren, uh, a talk on the 21 economy, and also two moderated Q&A panels from other Fed speakers.